Alright, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empowered Q's here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are going for a Storm Razor Jax build. So, our runes here, we went Electrocute, uh, Cheap Shot, and uh, some other damage runes because we want to maximize our damage. The idea with this build is honestly, we're going for really the uh, max amount of damage as possible because we're going for instant kills, really. Uh, with the Storm Razor, it's going to guarantee a crit. And then you're going to get a movement speed buff. Um, and honestly, by that time, most targets are going to be dead. So I don't need, a, you know, Conqueror or anything like that. And I'm going against the Zed. So that's another part of it that's just kind of like, well, don't need Conqueror. So this is going to give me a chance to do bigger damage. Um, they also changed Celerity, where the movement speed, the AD you get from, the, it's half the movement speed, but... Uh, double the AD or AP you get by it. So that should be good too. So when we get our movement speed boost from the Storm Razor, we're gonna get more damage. Oh, balls. Oh, not the flash. Well, that's poop. I have to back. That sucks. I'm gonna buy a cloth armor. I'm gonna need Ninja Tabby anyways, and that's gonna help me against the Zed. So that's going to slow push out. This wave is in a freaking terrible spot for me, but Pantheon could just be hiding, and I'm at like a third health, so I might as well just refresh. So, going to have to be careful. I have a feeling this Pantheon is going to hang out top lane a lot. So if I have to safely farm under tower, so be it. Alright, I want to ward right here. I have to be extra careful while my... Um, flash is down. Nice. Good stuff. Here's one of his coaches. I'm gonna wait till I'm level two to fight. Alright, buddy. Soon as my Q's up, I'm gonna jump on him. I don't think he hit me in time. I'm probably dead. Oh, are you serious? He must have flashed. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'll take it. I'll take it. That said, though, I'll play. <laughs> My CS sucks right now, but the early Pantheon gank just cucked me, but that's cool. Gonna get it back. I got a stack of my Ravenous Hunter. That's gonna give me some healing. Um, scorch for damage, if I didn't say. Sorry, the beginning of the game, I was in super focused mode. So Celerity for some extra damage. The movement speed, that's gonna increase with the Storm Razor, so we get that guaranteed crit. So whatever he does, I want to attack. Yep. Look at that. This Zed is so funny. Cool. Uh, definitely going to do the W Max. Going to proc a potion here. So that gives me extra healing. He did not use his ignite. Really? I should be able to kill. I'll take it. He flashed. He does not know how to do this lane at all. <laughs> So I could just hold here and start building a CS lead. And he doesn't do any damage to me yet, so pretty easy just to bully him. Whenever he uses his W aggressively, he can't get out of my E unless he flashes. So yeah, pretty easy. Uh, I think this is a good matchup. So I just bait out his W and I could smack him around, stun him. If I had better vision, I really feel like I should have gotten that kill. Uh, if I had procced my potion, the ticking part of the corrupting pot honestly might have killed him, but what can he do? It's all good. Alright. Gonna try to play passively until my ignite's back up. I got the level advantage on him now. As soon as this minion dies, I'm gonna get some deep vision. Um, gonna get a ward, my control ward right here. 
then I'm going to get a regular ward right over here. As soon as Pantheon is level 6, though, it's going to be a little bit hard to actually ward against him because he can just jump. Alright, I see Pantheon. Cool. Nice. Okay. Pop a potion here. Dodge that out. Anytime he lets me walk up to W him, I'm going to take that. I'm going to shove this in the lane and probably back. So I'm going to go standard Trinity Force first. Not by the time I get back to lane, I'll, uh, I'll have Ignite back up. Might actually just do a boot rush here. It's going to be nice for catching the Zed. Yeah, I'm going to go boot rush. Movement speed's going to be nice. Get a little bit of extra AD off of Celerity. Um, and I'm going to want to try and not get caught in this CC. Any CC that I get caught in is going to suck because I won't have Mercury Treads. So he's level 6. I've not got to be careful about that. My Flash will be up before him too. So if he sticks around, I should be able to get the kill. I should be able to get the kill. Easy peasy. Yep, just jump on him, and then he tries to save his W, and I kill him. If not, he has to W away from me, because if he Ws on top of me. So he really has to time his ultimate perfect, or he's going to die. And like I said, I rushed uh, armor component, so... And then save my ultimate to negate all the damage. And that works really, really well against Zed, too. Because the way his ultimate works, it's however much damage he does while his ultimate is active is how much damage the proc does. So if my ultimate negates damage he's doing during his ultimate, even if it doesn't last as long as his ultimate, it's still going to do less damage. So. Start building my CS lead. So the thing I want to do is one... Two. Oh, get the electric cube proc back up. Bye. So wait for my proc and see what I mean about the electric cube damage though. You just do so much and against Zed, like I said, I don't need conqueror and by the time my electric cube damage goes off. I mean, he's really dead anyway, so that little bit of damage isn't going to change. It also means that I don't have to save my... I don't have to do that weird thing where you auto-attack a minion and then jump to auto-attack the Proctor Conqueror. It's already going to be up. Jeez, push this wave, and then I'm going to back. So I am feeling not having the extra attack speed from Alacrity. Oh, time to leave. See you later. Two levels up. Not as much CS up as I'd like to be, but I'll still take it. And then I'm going to grab my Sheen first. Sheen's great because it's going to increase my W damage. So I'm going to grab Sheen, and I'm going to wait 20 gold for an extra longsword. I'm going to miss out on a little bit of this wave, but nothing I can really do about that. I actually might miss out on this whole wave. Yeah, that's a cannon wave, too. That is unfortunate. I may not be leading in CS, but I am farming up some kills. All right, he's going to grab that. So, like I said, I got to be worried of Pantheon jumps. He's making a lot of big plays around the map, so... It's really going to hurt if i not going to survive the CC chain of both of them. Don't know where he is. Got a shove. Pantheon was there too. Flame. If they're coming, then I can start heading there. Ward here. He pushes that. I got my flash. I might be able to kill him. running. It was worth a try. Might as well take out these. Can't get caught in that ultimate. Can't get caught in that ultimate. 
No time for love, Dr. Jones. Pop some potions. Why did you bump her into us? You're dumb. I have no health. Alright. Alright. I'm just gonna wait for 29 cold. I want my phage. <laughs> if Lee would have just came to Dragon, that would have solved that problem. I'm gonna head top. An enemy has been slain. That was disgusting. This Pantheon is putting in some serious work. He really wants to get through my armor, by the way. Like, holy crap. That's gonna be hard to live through. Yikes! Yike Aroonies. I sense a Pantheon jump in my future. I can't wait to get my uh, Stinger and get some attack speed, though. The last hitting struggles. I don't trust Pantheon. Walking away. Oh, baby. Got a ward there. Let's see if I. If this is uh, up, I'd like to get the Scuttle Crab. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that'll give me some vision against Pantheon. Okay, that's jump second. I should be able to roast this Zed still. He just uses W aggressively, and it has a pretty long cooldown. Stop. I'll take it. He flashed. You have been slain. Hey, boy. I had a feeling Pantheon was in the nearby area, but I was waiting for the jump. <sighs> My tower is gone. Seven, zero, and five. Holy guacamole. Okay. Well, I can at least get one dagger. And then I need about 1100 more. Okay. I mean, this Zed's pretty useless. Feel good about that. There's the jump. Right, I need to start influencing the map more. I 
I really don't want to get caught in Zyra's shit, though. That's gonna hurt. my Trinity Force in a minute. Pantheon just does way too much damage. I don't think any of us can duel him. Nine, zero, and six. Four, real. Yep, I my Trinity can start working on my Storm Razor. And no one I take, like, if Pantheon just murders someone, then whoever I take out doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So... We're getting up to 780 now for Celerity. That's good, because it's 9.6% uh, attack damage. Which is nice. A little extra damage there. Okay. Pantheon's going. He's going for mid. So, if... Zed... Ooh. Run away, little boy! This keeps Pantheon away, at least, from my team. Pop this. Pantheon's going in, probably. No, he's around here. Nope. Okay. Hmm, head back top. Clear this wave. I gotta be careful with splitting, like I said, though, because Pantheon is just gonna jump in and wreck my shit. So, my goal is to save up for 1300. We need towers. But none of us can. Turret bad. You hit somebody. A potion. Pop another potion. Yeah. He's dead. Gonna try and get bottom ward. Pop these off. Ready Kill this. Um, I might get a the new Sterix Gauge sucks though. Sterix Gauge against Pantheon would normally be really good, but they changed it so it doesn't increase your base AD anymore. It adds 50% of your base AD to it. Engage. Pantheon no re-engage. I can make my way this way. Go Pantheon! Thank you! I right, jump out. I got the damage off. We killed the Pantheon. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby. Our team, they be a so useless. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Like, useless, useless, useless. This new meta non AD shit, man. Come on. Come on. It sucks because honestly, like, if I force that into the split, I win. 
but Pantheon can be there in three seconds. Like, cause jumping into this sucks. And this. I really don't think we want to group up team fight, but I don't know how we really get picks either. But that's my thought, so I don't know. Maybe I split. Alright, I gotta start saving up gold. And the TF sword. Team's going at it. It's going real wild, too. At least gotta stick around. I don't know how we kill any of them. I can't jump in. Not bad. Not bad. Don't want it. He does too much damage. Holy crap. Knocked him out of the tower. Good job. Nice. I gotta go back and heal. Gotta go back and heal. Baited that gin. I have my flash more clients. Some my Dorans. And bam. I think he's on yet. I'm uh, probably going for red. How much health does he have? Where's Zed? Let me add him. Gotcha! Woo! Yes! Shut down gold is so nice. Don't mess with the champ. Alright, I can push this hard. That actually will give me close to enough for my storm race. I need 10, 25, right? We need a freaking tower is what we need. Luckily I can push really fast. And I have red buff, which does extra damage, so. Like, this guy is useless. Why waste resources fighting him, to be honest? But, finally gonna get a tower. Pantheon's up, so he might be looking for his buffs back, so I gotta be careful. This is the last one. Cool. Back it up. Back it up! It's gonna be a rough carry, guys. I might build this. Mm. Mm. I just need armor. Armor, armor, armor. This might be nice for the slow reduction. Yeah. No one's building. Well, Jin crits already on his last shot. I don't know. Ward. Stick together. I can push this down. If Zed's here, I kill him. So yeah, every 1.75 seconds I don't attack, I get crit. So, got it again. Like that. See? You get the bonus movement speed. So, four... So it goes 12 to 14. Yikes. So my AD goes from 12 to 14. Get this tower. At least get something. If they survive... If they could just survive, I could take the whole base, like... <laughs> I don't have TP, so, like I said... Let's see how this is going. That's good. Okay. I should be able to match in-hit for inhibitor, really close. Alright. We're coming back. 
back. I'll at least get this. I should be able to get the inhibitor. Should have gotten him. Yep. Back up. Push, baby. Hmm. I should be able to catch him. I'm faster. I go this way. Pop this. some magic resist. I could just build a maw. It's going to be really helpful against the Zyra. So, and then the Randuin's Omen is going to be very helpful against all of the lethality that they have, because honestly, besides my Ninja Tabby up to this point, they're pretty much dealing true damage. Alright, Storm Razor does feel really nice, though. Push top. Got bot wave pushing. I'm gonna red. Let me. You suck. Oh. We need vision. Alright. See Zyra. Zed's going for that wave, so I can push this wave. Damn. I don't want them to fight without me at this point. I'm coming! So I don't know what good I'm gonna do. Pop potions. Ow! Like I said, magic resist. Got a flash. I'll take that. I want to just back. Might as well be full hit health. Full. Okay. I have my ultimate, so gotta make sure I brought that. That's good. Oh, since I'm probably dead. Stuck at way too much CC. Doesn't matter. Yep. GG. Anyone up in time? No. I can't carry that. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I thought the power was great though, guys. Like, but 14 and 3, 15, 14, 3 and 15 Pantheon. Just proof that you can't carry everything. But honestly, guys, uh, I think it was a lot of fun. I still gonna upload this one for you guys because I think it really shows you the power of the. Uh, not honoring anybody. The Storm Razor uh, Jax also shows you how to fight up against an interesting matchup against Zed, um, which I don't normally get to fight against, so we definitely smoke. Excuse me. Let's check the damage. Well, that's whole so says check the damage. I mean, I did a lot of damage. But they're a team. And honestly, like, look at these team fights. Like, 
jumping into any of this sucks. I feel like if we had a real ADC that could kill something, we would have been fine. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Super appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.